Right now I'm heading home to Conway out of Little Rock where I attended a Taekwondo Karate tournament all day. My youngest grandson, John, he was one of the competitors. I'm pretty ragged. It's been a long day, I'll tell you. Anyway, here's how the tournament went. Say hello to everybody, John. Hi. Well, listen, <laughs> listen to that deep voice. Never what be happened? As tall as and here's his. Uh, this, this is his instructor. <laughs> He'll never be as tall as his instructor, right? <laughs> I taught him listen. everything he knows, but not everything I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a, that's a good thing. I Thanks, like that. Sir. This is Mr. O'Connor. He's his teacher. How, how's he been doing, by the way? Is he? Is he? Uh, he's great. Ha, has he plateaued out? Oh yeah, he's horrible. He's, he, he's, he's horrible. Learning about three years ago. I, I don't know what to do with this guy. Anymore. I don't either. He's just he, he's he's useless. He's, useless. He, he's nothing but uh, yeah, sparring fodder, right? <laughs> right. He's, he's our practice dummy. Practice dummy. Okay, thanks. But he's got a great smile. Yeah. Well, that that doesn't do much good when you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> Where's uh? I'm looking for a random mother around here. That's, is there a random mother around here willing to speak on camera? Oh, here's Hello. one right here. How you doing? Uh, what is your name, lady? Uh, Mom. Mom. Your name is Mom. Mom. <laughs> that's what I go by. Okay. Uh, how, are we uh, going to have a success today? Yes. Yesterday didn't go so well, did it? No, rough day. Yeah, rough day. This is a two-day tournament. Today's Saturday. Yesterday was Friday. And uh, he came away empty-handed yesterday, didn't he? He did. That's first, bad luck. That's first time, man. I believe so. First time ever. That's bad. He's really slacking. Uh, did you beat him severely last night? No, pep talks. Pep talk? No, no, no. He's a guy. He's old enough now to be severely beaten. No, moms don't beat. There's supposed to be it's lots of. No, no. You bloody him up. That's why we left dad at home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What happened? What, what happened yesterday? Uh, nothing happened yesterday. No, I mean, what caused it? Uh, I mean, why did you come here and and insult your instructor by coming away empty-handed? Why did you embarrass Mr. O'Connor? Uh, <laughs> oh, you got a sprained thumb? Yeah. Yes, he's got a sprained thumb. It's a uh, it's a hormone chemical imbalance. Completely. It's extremely embarrassing. <laughs> uh, you know, now it's either a, a colossal failure on his part. Or you failed to prepare him properly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Failure to prepare is prepare to fail. Uh -huh. Well, we're about to start. This is ring number one. And there's about, I guess there's about 16 competitors. It's going to be pretty intense today. We have uh, district champions here and we have world champions. And all of these guys are either second or third degree black belts. Here we got uh, John's buddy Nathaniel again. He came to the competition. He's really very good. This is a traditional Taekwondo. All of the uh, all of the events today will be traditional. Everybody's dre dressed in white. Nathaniel recently got his second degree black belt. Here's another one of his uh, competitors here. This kid is pretty solid, very balanced, very balanced. There's another kid that has good balance. 
Very, very good. Outstanding. <laughs> wow. I remember this kid being pretty good too. John is next up. Good balance again. Now it's John's turn. Boy, that guy in it. Woo! Come on, Johnny! Special abilities to check in with Mr. Rosa in front of the big screen. The guy in the speaker. That way he will know you are here prepared to compete. Driving me nuts. Keep your balance, John. Keep your balance now. Come on. Boy, he's gotten tall. He's taller than I am now, by the way. We're starting with the weapons, and John is first up, which is always a bad omen. The guys that go up first almost never win. I don't know what that is. It's kind of a strange deal. Listen to that deep voice. I can't get over that. <laughs> Those of you who have been watching the videos over the years have watched this boy grow up. Here he is when he first started. He was about five years old and they took a picture of him. He was a, that was before he got his first belt. He was still a white belt and he had to earn these little black stripes before he went to the next one. If you didn't get your tournament t-shirt, you better hurry. We run out of all the adult sizes. If you don't have our tournament t-shirt for your child, you better run and get on the merchandise. Thank you. Again, all these moves are mandatory all day long, everything they do, no matter what it is, except for the uh, combat weapons and sparring is mandatory. Woo! Good job, Johnny! This should be a good nunchuck routine. Nathaniel on the other side. John's a good buddy. He's no chump. He's... Still no points. He does that. He does that again. He's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back in the action. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be part of it. <laughs> uh, what's the score? One to one. All right. Daniel on the. Road. He's closest to us. Hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> All right. Come on now. Come on now. Somebody got a point. Somebody didn't. Let's go. Must have been a warning of some kind against Nathaniel. It was a hit to the back. Huh? They said it was a hit to the back. The, the guy kind of spun. No, he, he hit him in the back when the guy spun. You can't do that. That's bad. You can only hit certain areas. Still one to one. <laughs> oh, good kick, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that should have been two. All right, Nathaniel's behind, one to two. Ooh, another one. He fell right into that one, that bad news. Nathaniel got suckered in big time. It's four to one against Daniel. Nathaniel. <laughs> These guys are gonna kill me before it's over. <laughs> Ooh, it's all over for Nathaniel. That kid did a good job. Kicked his butt. It's all over, Nathaniel loses. I'm glad I'm getting good beat job, up over guys. here. Good job. <laughs> well, we got a couple of fire brands here. These guys are going at it. Holy mackerel. And if one of these guys falls on me, I won't, won't be much left. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. Good action here. Good action. All right, here's John. He's the closest to us. He's Ray. He's the guy with the red ribbon. There we go. He's got a badly sprained thumb, but I told him, suck it up, be a man. He's a, he, he fights smart. He's a, he's a smart fighter. Yeah. Yeah, see? Two points. That, he fought, fought smart, got two points right off the bat. Takes his time, looks for the opening. Everybody's wondering what's going on. He'll get it. He'll get it. I hope. <laughs> Feel him out, John. Feel him out. Well, they better do something or the judge will tell them to start fighting. <laughs> I'm starting to fall asleep here, Jamie. <laughs> See, he's telling he's telling him. He's telling him. Alright, two point two more points for John. Four to nothing. Four to nothing. There you go. Yeah. Hopefully he can hold it. Come on, John. Go get him. Get that point. Get the point. Come on, come on, come on. Still four to nothing. He only needs one more point. Time. John wins. Four to nothing. And the next match. The kid on the far side is pretty good. He's ahead three to zero already. He's another one of those smart fighters. There he goes. There he goes. That he, he looked for the opening and got him. It's now 
now four to zero. The guy on the other side's winning. Pretty sharp. Guy on the other side won it, five to nothing. And another match, couple of wiry, fast, fast guys, fast. That was a good kid. That was a good one. They should have got a point for that. Here we have a case of the little guy. The little guy's a world champion. His experience is really paying off against this bigger guy. He's ahead three to one. He's, he's really he's a really experienced fighter. Little fella won. Here's a couple of big guys, strong. Also experienced. Guy on the other side is a world champion. Okay, here goes John. Second round for him. All right, let's get it on. Just like at the UFC. Come on, John. Be smart. Be smart. Time to, every time the guy on the far side kicks, he goes on the floor. <laughs> oh, 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 that did not look good for John. Yeah. Come on, Johnny, come on. One to one. Camo green, purple, blue, brown, red, and red men and black belts. Boys to the stage. Three to nothing. John's losing. Not good. Oh, why did he turn and do that? Three to one. John's losing. Come on, John, fight smart. Nobody saw any points on that one. Better get a two pointer, he's gonna lose on time. Three, three, three to two for John, or for the other guy.
fight. Come by your photo, Pat. Come on, John. Use your, your head, son. Right, right. Ooh, that did not look good. It looked like a two-pointer for the other guy. Oh, shucks. John lost. Oh, well. Combat sparring. One at one and two points. It is a timed event. You know, depending on where you hit your opponent is how many points you get. That just ended the first match right there. It was six to six. Oh, it's not ended. It's got another sudden death. We're gonna have to go at it. Who will get the one point? Oh, look at it. They're determined now. <laughs> okay, the kid on this end, he, he won it. <laughs> and there's Nathaniel again. He's been having a bad day too. Nathaniel's ahead, four to one. Yes, sir. Nathaniel's on our side, he's closest to us. He's ahead, five to one. Come on, Nathaniel. All right, Nathaniel's doing pretty darn good here. Five to two. Five to two, Nathaniel's still ahead. Six to two, Nathaniel's ahead. Eight to two. Yeah! And that does it. You think that, no, it's nine to two. Nine, that should be 10 to two. Come on, lady, wake up. All right, 10 to 2. It's all Woo! over. Did good. Good job, Nathaniel. Good job. All right, here comes John on the far side. All right, John's ahead one to nothing. It's one to one. Come on, John. Two to one. John's ahead. Yeah, he let that guy get in. Three to, three to two. John's ahead. Last and final call. You're being divided in seven rings right now. Yeah. Hammer green, purple, blue, brown, red, and recommended black belt. Come on, Johnny, come on. Four to three, John's behind. Go. Ah. Five to three, John's behind. Go. Six to three, John's behind. Six to four. Six to five, John's still behind. What? Come on, Johnny. All right, six to six. Yeah, six to six, new game. Come on, Kyle. Eight to six, John's behind. Come on, Johnny, come on. Come on, Kyle. Eight to seven, John's behind. Nine to seven, John's behind. Time, he lost, ran out of time. Nine, looks like nine to seven. All right, here we go, last, I think this is the last match, isn't it? No. No? 
anyway, on this side right, is Nathaniel, our good buddy, John's good buddy. He won his last one. Let's see what happens now. He's ahead one to zero. Got this. All right, three to three to one, three to two. Nathaniel is three three. still ahead. Three to three. Oh, it's three to three. Oh my goodness, tie. Get a break. It broke. This combat weapon broke. Yeah, I'll just get another one. That's all. Yeah. One of them, the, 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 uh, the weapon broke on, uh, on, uh, the, on the guy on the far side. He had to get another one. Six to five. Please come to the front, thank you. Eight to five, Nathaniel's ahead. I think the other guy got in on that one. No? It's nine to five, Nathaniel's ahead. Uh, I think he got in. Yeah, the other. All right, I think that's it. No, it's nine to eight. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Ten to eight. Nathaniel wins again. Good show. Good job, Nathaniel. One more match for Nathaniel. Nathaniel's on the far side. He's getting closer and closer to the first or second. Woo! Good job, Nathaniel. Good one. It's two to nothing. Nathaniel's ahead. Ah, two to one. Glenna Skinner? Three to one. Glenna Skinner, can you let me know where you are? Does Glenna Skinner, can you please let me know where you are? Thank you. Three, three to two. All right, five to two. Nathaniel's ahead. Six to two. Ooh, that was a bad one. Six to four. Come on, Nathaniel, you gotta do better. <clears throat> Eight to four, Nathaniel's ahead. That might be it, that might be it. Two points. No, nine to four. They only gave him one. Time's up. He wins anyway. Nine to four. Good, Good job, show. Good, Good show. Job. I think he's got one more to go. All right. What we have here is Nathaniel on our side. He's going. These two guys are going for first and second place. We'll see who wins. All right. The guy on the other side's ahead by one point. It's one to nothing. Nathaniel's losing. That's one to one right now. Now it's three to one. Nathaniel losing. Three to three. New game. Nathaniel's ahead. Or Nathaniel's ahead, rather. Oop. Six to four. Uh oh. That's not good. Nathaniel's losing. This is for first or second. Seven to four. Nathaniel is losing. Seven to five. Nathaniel's still losing.
kid over there is no chump. He's quick. Seven to six. Nathaniel still losing. Yeah. All right, he's making a big comeback. Seven to seven. All right. Okay, eight to seven. Nathaniel's finally pulled ahead. And that's it. Finished. One. Oh, it's nine to seven. Nathaniel's ahead. He needs one more point. Ooh, that guy got in on him. It's nine to eight. Ooh, the time is up. Nathaniel took it by time. All right, congratulations. All right. All right, let's have a word from Skunk Boy. <laughs> you tried hard, you just had a bad day today, you know that? But it does good once in a while to have this happen. It builds character, right? Yes. Yeah, you feel you feel like you got more character? Yes. Good. <laughs> let's talk to the random mother. Uh, are we ready for pizza? Yes. I'm ready for some pizza. <laughs> We have here the mother of the victorious combat spar. And then what do you think about it? How do you feel? I feel great, sir. You feel great? I can go to districts now. That's right. Now you can go to districts and compete. Mom, what do you think? Did he do a good job? I don't know if you all remember. This Teresa, his mom, and she came here again. That's good. We're proud of you, son. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Here's John's uh, 14th birthday and he was asked where he wanted to go. And he said he wanted to go to Twin Peaks. And after he's been there, this is his birthday party at Twin Peaks. And after, uh, after he went there, he said no more Chuck E. Cheese for him. <laughs> That's funny. 